I used to have trouble with this idea where YouTubers read a tweet by scrolling by each word. So today I will show you exactly what to do. So get ready to do some editing. Okay, so in this video I'm going to be teaching you uh, how to do what I just showed you. What I've just shown you. So, first what you're going to do is you're going to get like a YouTube comment or anything like that. So what I would do is I would just uh, go to a random Discord page, but um... Right here, I already made something. I'm gonna grab the introduction one, and I'm going to show you exactly what I did. So, we're going to drag this down and uh, use any app where you can just freaking crop down your freaking crop down your Discord so it just shows your text just like so. So just drag it down into your timeline, and then what you're going to do. This is for Fillmore 10, so this will be introducing to this will be introducing people to some keyframing. So keyframing is a brand new like thing in Fillmore, feature in Fillmore. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on, we're going to extend the screenshot to the desired length. I just lengthened it to about 20 seconds. It depends on how long your your comment is. So then you're going to click this. Use a microphone button or a voiceover button. So you read the comment as it scrolls. This will give us a good idea of when it stops and when it starts. So click on the record button and choose your microphone or your input audio. So click record time. So then we'll click start. I used to have trouble with this idea where YouTubers read a tweet by scrolling by each word. So today I will show you exactly what to do. I used to have trouble with this idea where YouTubers read a tweet by scrolling by each word. So today I will show you exactly what to do. So then you can crop it down to the, rec the size of the recording just like so. It is to right click it and click on add animation. So then click add at the beginning at the beginning of the timeline. So we just added a keyframe. Now as you can see, there's a little green dot at the bottom now when we click add. So then what we're going to do is we can edit the scale and the position. So first, we'll make it so we drag our recording just a little bit for the duration of it zooming into the, to the beginning of the, just to make sure. So then what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to crop over, go all the way over, and we're going to click it again. And we're going to edit the scale and the position by dragging the knobs right here. And by using this arrow right here, you can swipe to either side you desire. Perfect. Now, play the clip. Or if you want, you can also, you can just zoom in a little bit more by clicking the keyframe once again, zooming in just a little bit more. Way better. So then it starts right when it starts scrolling. So then scroll the way to the end of your recording. Scroll the way to like the end of your recording, make sure to resize it again, just to be sure. But then, click on, but yeah, click on it once again, and um, slide the position to the right or the left. Slowly slide it until you've gotten all the text, until you reach the end of the photo. Perfect. So then click OK, and go all the way back, and then see if it works. I used to have trouble with this idea where YouTubers read a tweet by scrolling by each word. So today I will show you exactly what to do. In the older days you could use pan and zoom, but in my opinion this is a lot better because you can customize your keyframe. It's just a lot easier in my opinion. But yeah, thanks for Mora10 for um, adding keyframes. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, the end of the tutorial, so I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.
Peace out. Thank you.